Damn, that last episode was too long. Should we wake him up? Yeah, I'll think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, Boy. What the? Morning, sunshine. <sighs> What's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Mm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys causing you to miss a blind date and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was... complicated. But if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down a peg of five. All that matters now is how you respond. I want you done feeling sorry for yourself. There's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Thanks. Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Cat? I'm suing I told WWE. you I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. No, she's going to sue WWE and, and, and Terry Lawler. Her, that'd be great, too, for me and the doc. Not necessarily for you. All right. We're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. It's caught her on straight through me. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I didn't expect the la want the last part going as long as I thought it was as long as it did. Alright guys. I didn't have to another. Fuck you, Rollins. No one likes you. Fuck you, Orton. Hey, On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. Deathmatch! The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. Yeah, you know, you always refused to do a British <laughs> rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. Now, is that working out for you? There's a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? 
Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learned is you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off. At least you gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK, and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me, you're ready to wear a wig. To wear a wig. Okay, fine, I'll give it a shot. Time to wrestle with indie have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Right. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister's the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. But Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. Leeds, England. British rules match. Oh, you gotta press X. <laughs> Who am I facing? In a British rules match. Tavish? Tavish! How are you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in you'll be competing in multiple British Rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one, but here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? I'm already regretting this. Oi, suck it up! You're gonna be fine. Besides, the crowd is already here. So there's no backing out now. Yeah, there is. I can leave. <laughs> I can just leave. I mean, no one's stopping me. Okay, Tavish isn't around. What'd you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but... He'll lie his butt off if he thinks the situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament. Especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself. match one. Let's go. This part's already long enough. Alright, it is a day later. It is time for some British rules match. It's time for some British rules match. Yeah, fuck. Nice try. Sorry, I'll toss you around. Alright. Great. 
Adrian Buck, but not used not going to. This is basically a British Rules tournament. Oh shit, he clotheslined me. What measly clothesline ain't gonna do that, Mr. Buck? You ain't no young buck. Get, don't you even try to stop me, Mr. Adrian Buck. Sorry, I'll dead the power bomb him. Ball one. Damn it. I have to do three, two out of three falls matches. Thanks, Tavish. It's over. Damn it. All right, then. Turn around. German Ripcord Lariat. That and it will be one fall. Oh shit, I am up one fall. Well, it won't take long for me to be up two falls. To none. All you need to do is get up to your feet, sir. And spear and you're dead. <laughs> Ref, wrap it up. Yeah, that's one. That's one match. In this damn tournament. That's one for Jason Briggs. The lock. Hey, Tavish. Look who wore the wig. <laughs> and you're gonna get to wear it some more. It wasn't bad, I guess. Actually, kind of fun. Well, your next opponent is gonna be tougher. But yeah. the important part is that you're learning to get outside your comfort zone. And if you manage to win the match... Do you have any kind of scouting report on this next guy? Oh. No, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a point. Lost blacks. So, how did you know he's tougher then? Made it up. Seemed like a yeah. coach thing to say. Anyway, yeah. I'm headed back for another free round. Good luck. Alright. Let's do another British rules match. Do another British rules match. Let's do it. Fucking blokes. In front of the blokes in the UK. Let's do it. Let's do it! Well, here's the thing. Jason Briggs is Irish. May not sound Irish, because the game won't let him be Irish, but... They won't give me a no. They didn't give me a no compete clause. Oh, hey, this did take place three months later, so no compete clause is gone. Who is this next guy?
Who are you? Adam Shaw? Dynasty's own? Oh no, yeah, Adam Shaw has a bigger beard. And he doesn't have a weight belt. Oh wait, was his nameplate about to pop up? <laughs> I missed it. Trent Shaw! Adam Shaw's younger brother! By God! Another member of Powerhouse! I was close! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to be close. Don't worry. I'll fucking take care of you. Don't worry. Balls. Elbow drop. Oh, damn. I... I'm killing you. It's over. Damn. <laughs> Why is he... Oh, it's a tournament. That's right. He took a lot of damage, didn't he? I killed my opponent. He didn't kill his. His opponent gave him something to work with. Oh, that's right. I know I don't break the rules. A nice little springboard. That'll break those rules. I'm a rule breaker. around German rip cord and it'll be one fall I'll be up one fall ref that's one don't get your ass up that's two sorry Adam Shaw's younger brother Tucker Shaw <laughs> I can't believe his last name was actually Shaw. <laughs> That's two matches down. In less than ten minutes. Goddamn. Jason Briggs ain't to be fucked with. I killed two people in less than ten minutes. In two British rules matches. Tavish. Tavish, why are you in your ring gear? <laughs> Is it you? Ha! Another win! Way to go! Thanks, but why are you wearing your old wrestling attire? Let me guess. The fans at the bar wanted pictures with you in it. No. That's not a bad idea. Could make some extra bread. Anyway, it turns out the bloke you were supposed to face got hurt in his last match. and can't compete in the finals. So, uh, yours truly volunteered to fill in. Seriously. I'm gonna wrestle well, Tavish! Well, we couldn't send a fan home without a tournament winner now, could we? Well, Besides, technically, I'm the winner. Some of them are my mates now. Jimmy's getting married next month, and he asked me to perform the ceremony. Congrats? So what do you Congrats, say? Mate. You versus me, British Congrats, rules, mate. made the best fully rested, slightly buzzed man win. Slightly right. buzzed? Let's do this. I may be Irish, but my character may be Irish, but I haven't had a point yet. I was more British than Irish, but who gives a fuck? Who's keeping track now? A lot of people. A lot of people are keeping track. Let's do this shit. I'm in the UK. 
about to have the final British rules match in my career. Probably not. <laughs> For fuck's sake, this is a WWE game, ain't it? <laughs> Don't tell me that music's copyrighted. Seriously, what trick this ring mat? I'm just noticing this. This ain't a traditional wrestling ring. Don't worry, Tavish. Oh my god, I already injured your ribs. Tavish, I'm unsafe, I know. Just stay down, you're already buzzed. How much you've been drinking? Dorel, oh, you reversed. Come on, Tavish, bring it. Oh, okay. Go, Tavish. Tavish, bring it. Oh, my entire body's yellow. Where did all that damage come from? I understand I wrestled twice that night. Ah! Ah! Get off! You fucking bloke! Oh shit! Uh oh, is this a sig? German ripcord. One fall. Oh! Who do heal? Who you is? Give me your arm. Power bombs! Oh shit, he's close to the road. Now he's not. What? He kicked out? Alright, Tavish. Fight forever, champ. Now it's over. <laughs> oh, shit, that is one fall. Alright, I'll clean sweep you. Don't worry, y'all love this one. 
You'll all love this. Tavish, you know we got to end this off of Finn. It's over. The British Rules winner! the man. You got in the ring. And fuck me. And that is British rules, ladies and gents. Had a lot of them in my career. And I want them all. <laughs> And they all took place in one night. <laughs> Undefeated in British rules. No one will stop me. Chosen! What? Why is Drew here? Help. This ain't part of the main story. Chosen is. But Drew is here. For some reason. Hey, that's good. Get up my grappling and my defense. Social media saying. Incredible blessed to be in WWE. Oh my god! <laughs> they have the same last name, but he gained a little. Aw, oh, damn it. Slade is the new D Intercontinental Champion. Uh, he's just called Slade. Always was a follower. German UK getting back on track one match at a time. Come back. <laughs> Riddle. You want to see? He hadn't. In that was first. I can now say. <laughs> what do you want, Tom? Hey, I'm actually happy to run into you. WWE's having me cut together a greatest WWE Rise and Falls video package featuring you, which I kind of feel bad about. I've got all your footage from your so-called fall, but if you get Cat to get some shots of you dominating your next match, I can try and make it into a Rise and Fall and Rise package. Now, I want to see what Drew wants. I want to see what Drew wants, actually. What do you want first? Well, if it isn't the most controversial man in wrestling. You're not following me now, are you? I'm actually heading the same way. Hardly with the similarities between us end. I respect you're doing things on your own terms. I've been there. But if you want to be the top dog, you're going to have to come back to WWE to face the best. Are you ready? The better question, is WWE ready for me? I knew I liked you, mate. You said you're heading my way. How about a sparring session when we get there? I'm sure we could both learn a thing or two from each other. 
I'd like to, but maybe. Uh, wait. I missed the whole fucking thing. What is the social media of that? Raise your hand, feel best to be in WWE. Never had to pay as do you like. Hey, don't listen. No, you cannot make the match Baron Blade. <laughs> I'm in his best. Indie cred. You know what? Fuck it. We'll do some indie cred. <laughs> Just get Baron Blade out of the way. Just get him out of here. Get him out. Go on, fuck off. Oh wait, we have to team with Domin they have to let Dominic come out? <laughs> if you haven't seen my TikTok, I don't like Dominic. But he was a face here, so. Quinn. It is new ring gear. Who the hell is this? I sort of fair play. Who the hell are you? Oh my god, is that El Generico? That's Sammy under the mask! El Generico is here! Did they really put Sammy under a mask again? L ordinate. <laughs> well, that's one way to get around it. It's L ordinary. <laughs> Die! Ah! <laughs> Sammy is L ordinary. <laughs> Not L generico. You mother. Attempt to win. And shut up Dominic Don's hater. Are you backbreakers? Don't worry, reverse body slide. Oh no, I'm rolling out. Dominic, help me!
Get back here. Sleeper slam. Hey, Sammy. I know it's you. I'm bleeding. Damn it, Tom. We can't both be losing. Save me, Dom. <laughs> Go, Dom. It's over, ref. Sorry, Dom. This has to happen. Oh, great. I'm about to get double teams. Thanks for getting up, Dom. Six, one, nine. Thanks, Dom. Go that way. Don't worry, Dom. I got him. the wall. Good job, Dom. You did it. You did it. Dom, shut up, you hater. Still not impressive Dom stuff. I could survive on the Indies with Jason Briggs in my corner, too. Yeah, Dom, you had nothing, nothing. You have actually everything to prove against your father. <laughs> LAW! My God! Haku! Oh, we're going against Dom? Damn, Dom got released and started going. Did Dom get released? Carry you do a good match. No! 
No! Bad Dominic! Bad! Do it! You have so much to live for, kid! <laughs> Referee was doing the running man. <laughs> Spear! Oh, 
over. I hit him with that springboard cutter, and then I hit him with a spear, and it was over. <laughs> Damn, what a sequence, baby! Who next? Indie creds. Gotta give credit to Tom. He didn't have to compete on the Indies, but he did, and... Alright. Let's do some more matches in the next part.